What is going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this sneaker today because it's not something that you've probably seen on too many other channels, but it was something that I really got excited about that commemorates an iconic sci-fi movie. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, today's unboxing is going to be a true unboxing because the sneaker packaging actually begins with the box inside of the box. Now, before we get into this, I wanna let you guys know that this sneaker probably has some of the best packaging I think I've seen on any sneaker so far in 2020. Now, there's been some really nice packaging on some sneakers so far this year, and you guys know I'm a sucker for the details. This shoe here is loaded with so many different details, so many Easter eggs, and the packaging is so incredible, there's no way that I couldn't pick it up. All right, guys, we're talking about the movie Aliens today. The Aliens movie is a cult classic. It's a sci-fi smash. They made video games about aliens, clothing, everything like that. If anybody knows about Aliens, then you know what it is and you know the kind of following that Aliens has. Now, Alien Day is celebrated on April 26. It commemorates the day that the movie originally came out back in 1979. Every year for the last few years, Reebok has been teaming up with the Aliens movie franchise and 20th Century Fox to bring out a sneaker that actually represents a part of the movie or a character from the movie. You guys may have seen the Bug Stomper shoes that have been coming out in the last couple of years. You may not have paid that much attention to them, but some people did because some of those Bug Stomper shoes are worth the... Uh, a lot of money. Today we're taking a look at the fourth and final iteration in the Alien Reebok collaboration and it starts with the box. Now I've already taken this box outside of the actual shipping box so this is not the box that it came in this is actually the beginning of the sneaker packaging itself and you can tell with the Wayland yutani symbol which is the fictional company from the Aliens movies here on the side of the box. Now you guys can see here it says USCM issue such and so a such and so it has all of this on the side division search and destroy. So again we're talking about the USCM and that that stands for the United States Colonial Marines. We'll get into that a little bit more in a minute. Now, moving around to the side of the box here, on the outer box here, this is actually where the size tag is as well. You see nine and a half, Alien, Stomper, USCM, Unisex, so on and so on. So on this box here, this actually counts as the shoe box and this is the box that actually has the size tag on it. So this actually counts as the packaging for the sneaker. Now, once we get inside of here, that's when things really start to get exciting. So inside of that brown box, you have this box here. And if you guys recognize this from the movie Aliens, this actually looks like the drop ships that they actually used to transport and travel in in the movie. Now, fun fact, each one of these boxes was handmade over there at Reebok. So very, very custom job. This is a very special collaboration, again, with the Aliens franchise. Now, you'll notice that the box actually has kind of this holographic effect to it, where you can actually see that it looks black on the outside, but when you move it around in the light, it actually kind of shimmers. It has kind of that iridescent effect here. I thought that was really, really nice. Small details, you see the zero one here. You see the danger intaker here. You see it has a little warning label on the side of the box right here, rear pod elevates. You see it actually says rescue on the side of the box here as well. And on the back of the box, it actually says restricted with that little number there. But the real fun begins when you actually break open the dropship packaging to reveal the stars inside and the shoes inside. Without further ado, let's take a look. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Reebok and 20th Century Fox Bug Stomper shoe for the 41st anniversary of the Aliens movie franchise. I'm gonna tell you guys like this. When I saw the shoe, automatically I said, wow, I gotta get my hands on this shoe. This is really, really dope. But the deeper that you look into this shoe, when you realize how many details go into this shoe, like I said, it's a no brainer that it's got packaging of the year. And this is honestly one of the best sneaker releases to drop so far this year. And I'm gonna show you guys why. First things first, let's start with the upper materials on this sneaker. All premium materials on this shoe, all of the materials here are the real deal, starting with the ballistic mesh material. This is the same kind of ballistic mesh that you'll see on real army fatigues, real military fatigues. This is real deal ballistic mesh here. Now that ballistic mesh also goes up into the collar of the sneaker, wrapping all the way around the lateral and medial side, and it wraps completely around the toe box of the sneaker as well. Now, of course, inside of that ballistic mesh, you see the rubber window here that has the Reebok co-branded with the Wayland yutani company logo as well. 
All right, one of the first Easter eggs here is where it says contents under pressure, right underneath that Velcro shroud. Now, a lot of the Easter eggs in this sneaker are made to look like Private Hudson's armor, who was one of the lead colonial Marines in the Aliens movie. The contents under pressure here is exactly the way that it looked on his body armor. Now, the camouflage fatigue print here is actually really soft. It almost feels like suede. It's really, really nice, probably a nice nubuck material, but on the strap on the front of the sneaker here, as well as wrapping around the back of the sneaker and wrapping around the collar as well. It's a really nice fatigue. These are the exact same fatigues, one of one, just like the USCM fatigues in the movie. Now let's talk about these neoprene booties here. These are tactical neoprene booties here. So really, really nice, stretchy, but very comfortable neoprene material that wraps around the foot and inside of the sock liner of the shoe. But even the neoprene booties have a little Easter egg on them as well. On the right side of the right shoe, on the neoprene booty you have a big one of one exact replica uscm colonial marines patch for the uss Salako, Salako, I'm probably saying that wrong, but you have the one of one war patch here. It's really, really nice. And on the left side of the neoprene booty, on the left sneaker here, you have another big one of one custom stitched patch here that is the USCM Screaming Eagle logos. I mean, just look at these patches. These are really, really quality patches here. You don't see this kind of quality on sneakers these days at all, all the little details, they are exact replicas, one of one exactly from the movie. It's really, really dope. Now, remember when I showed you guys underneath the strap on the right shoe, it said contents under pressure? Well, underneath the strap on the left shoe, you have a little QR code here. And on most QR codes, on most sneakers, it doesn't take you anywhere. But this one, you can actually scan it and it gives you access into the Aliens universe. I'm really not joking. You really scan it in and it gives you access to the Alien universe here. So you can see books that are coming up. You can see different things that are coming up, all having to do with the Alien universe. Really, really dope way to implement technology into the sneaker as well. I love that. Now, another little Easter egg here on the left shoe, right underneath the velvet crow strap going around the front of the sneaker stitched in here you see we aim by pfm and if you know anything about the movie you know that that means we aim by pure something magic another word that begins with an f and i will let you imagine what exactly that word is on the medial side also stitched into the ballistic mesh material here it says Bug Stomper, of course, the name of the sneaker. Moving around to the back of the left sneaker here on the heel pull, you actually see this really dope kind of stars and stripes here. It's kind of the futuristic version of the stars and stripes that the Marines represented when they were going into battle, doing whatever they did. They still represented those stars and stripes. However, on the back of the right sneaker here is where it starts to get a little bit fun. Now, you guys will notice the eyes here that actually represent the eyes being in the back of your head, just like the eyes being on the back of the body armor on Private Hudson on the movie Alien as well. On the heel pull, you actually see we endanger species. That's what the Marines did. They went in and they cleared out those aliens without an issue. They endanger all the species that they don't want around. The Easter eggs in these shoes continue with the two clear dog tags. The first dog tag here says USCM. It has the division and all the little information here for the troops. The second clear dog tag, of course, says Whalen yutani Corp. Now, from what I understand about the movie, Whalen yutani actually acquired the colonial marines if memory serves me correctly like they bought them like they actually bought the military so Whalen yutani actually i believe was i don't know if they were corrupt or not you guys can sound off in the comments and let me know what's going on with the corporation as a whole because i know that the corporation has an entire history behind it but from what i understand later on in time they actually ended up acquiring the colonial marines and that's why you see Whalen yutani all over these sneakers as well on the right insole of the sneaker here you have the Whalen yutani corporation information here with some more information underneath that i'm not sure what it is and that all is against a green kind of camouflage kind of swampy looking background on this insole and on the left insole against a red backdrop you see the death or glory logo here the little picture here that also is made to represent the exact logo that was on private hudson's armor in the movie as well every little detail was really paid attention to and finally on the outsole of the sneaker here you have this classic bug stomper outsole love the design i really like the way that it actually jets out 
out a little bit on the right hand side of the sneaker or on the left hand side of the sneaker respectively i think it's really really dope great traction on the shoe it's really really nice and i like that brownish kind of chocolate brown color that accents that ballistic mesh on the top of the shoe and that's pretty much it when it comes to these guys like i said i know that this is probably not one that was on you guys radar but if you guys happen to catch a glimpse of these sneakers here these were 100 worth the pickup not only that but i'll tell you guys there was a lot of collectors out there because when i picked these up those sizes were already flying pretty fast off the reebok website these didn't really release that many places as well i think i may have seen one or two other places that dropped these but these were actually an extremely limited very very special edition sneaker here there's a lot of really serious sci-fi collectors movie collectors or sneaker heads that wanted to get their hands on the shoe also people that had the other bug stompers in their collection and they wanted to go ahead and complete the collection by getting the fourth and final iteration of the sneaker remember guys after this one there's no more there's no more bug stompers coming out the reebok collaboration with aliens is officially done ending with this shoe so this is a really really good one to add to your collection the only thing that kind of bothers me about this shoe is that they took so much time into it i understand that they probably knew that this is going to be for a really small narrow audience of people this was not the sneaker that was going to appeal to the masses this is not a sneaker that probably was going to sell for thousands and thousands of dollars this is something special that they did i think for the fan base for the people that were really really serious about the movie and about the trilogy and about the collection however it kind of sucks that they didn't do this about a more popular movie that a lot more people would resonate with because so much attention and detail went into this sneaker i just wish that it appealed to a lot more of the masses a lot more people got their hands on them and we were honestly talking about them a lot more this is one of the best made sneakers of 2020 so far and it's flying under a ton of people's radar but it didn't fly under mine and it's not flying under you guys i want you guys to know what's out there in the world of sneakers it's a lot more than nikes and jordans and off-white there's a lot of really hidden gems out here like this amazing collaboration with reebok and 20th century fox for the alien movies that if we open up our eyes a little bit we can see a lot of diamonds in the rough out here so are these a pickup for me 100 you bet these are a 100 pickup i think these are really really well done materials are 100 on point quality is 100 on point the details the easter eggs all the little insignias and the logos that are directly like the movie it was a no-brainer to me these had to come home with me these had to be in the collection but now it's time for you guys to sound off in the comments and let me know would you guys pick up the bug stompers did you guys pick up a pair of the bug stompers previously did you guys flip a pair of the bug stompers for that thousand dollar plus price that the highs were going for or are these a hard pass are these ones that you couldn't even imagine putting into your collection sound off down below let me know of course write it down in the comments make sure that you Click on that subscribe button so we can welcome you into the sneaker fetish family to make sure you don't miss out on any more heat that comes through like these because I guarantee you I have a lot more heat on the way. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these with me, unboxing them with me for a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Reebok Alien Bug Stomper USCM edition. And until next time, I'm out.